Up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy, and as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor. And you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez. There's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger than life character and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor and he'll look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Tail the tape for this lightweight scrap. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Apex. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. So here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last year. No championship for the Knicks, but uh, when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena.
All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Nice punch there. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. McGregor gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. McGregor gets absolutely melted by that head kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going full. You walk full speed to a knee to the body. It could in the night. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him drive his shin into the open body with that body kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, 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 oh! oh. Just out of range with that right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Changes his stance. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to half length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Liver kick. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. And they separate. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. They 
continue to exchange. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he connects there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Pretty significant as well to the left side. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, buckled in there, beautiful shot to the body. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. There it is, there it is. Final seconds here at round number two. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our Three next five. round. High Three. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking oh! here tonight. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his finish. Don't finish his fight. McGregor's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Land on the side of the opponent's head over and over again. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively... Oh! Oh, big left hook there! Who's hurt? Serve him up. We'll get oh, him. he might be out! Wow! Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Now connects with a right. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's done. He's done. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just, oh! He needs to start looking to finish on it. And that'll do it! He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout.
right, so there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word, it's, it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that one moment to hear and new. And then they want to hear and still, but before anything, you got to hear and new. And when you hear it, man, it's like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders.